previously on Beleaguered Isle. Learning the hard way from their last outing, our party stocks up on some bare essentials before leaving town to investigate the beach. Arriving after the sun has set, they decide against camping and they use Steve's night vision and force him ahead of them down the beach as a scout. Unfortunately for Steve, stealth is not one of his greatest assets, and as the party once again ignores the observe and report orders, they choose to engage in battle with some of the orcs patrolling the beach. The battle was short and resulted in two dead orcs and some injured party members. The obligatory trash talking and looting was cut short as the executioner overhears creatures approaching from the forest. Will our party survive the coming unknown? Let's watch! Alrighty, so when we left off, the current uh, order of initiative is uh, Smagalicious, Daddy, Dirk, Executioner, The Unknown, and Hardon. We have one more player to account for, and that would be Darkholer, who has been standing in, in a corner at this point. Dark so I'm going to bring him up. Uh, he needs to mute his Uvo. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't. Because it is muted. Okay, Dark Hole. Um, I need you to roll a dice. Give me a 20. God damn, give me a 20. With your initiative bonus, of course. If you have it. Alright, so there is our new initiative. And we're going to start right at the top of the list. Spanx, you got it. Go. So, um, yeah, I'm uh, still not aware of these guys. Despite the executioner's claims that he yelled out something, I haven't heard anything. So um, I'm just going to ask if anybody else noticed that these tabards sort of look like the coins we got. Doesn't that symbol kind of look familiar? Really? Fascinating. I think we have bigger fish to fry. You sure? Because I haven't heard anything. I'm just going to stand here and guard this until check. I can be splitted. <laughs> <laughs> Equitably. When I gave him a long, <laughs> hard listen, I heard some disturbing things in the woods. So. Dude. Yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. So, okay. And here, you you mind going in? Do you mind going and picking up that torch over there? Oh, no way. Somebody threw it. it. Must be covered in bees. Ah, oh, that's fine. I don't. Do you hear any buzzing? I don't hear any buzz. <laughs> no, stealth bees are the worst kind. Okay, so Daddy, go. Daddy, you're up. Where the hell is well, Daddy? go pick up the torch, Daddy. Yeah, uh, you dumbass, uh, throwing my torch like that. I think I'm gonna light another torch. <laughs> okay. The better option. <laughs> it's it's gone. It, it, it's too far, guys. We we've gone too far. We can't it's go back for the torch. It's too It's too far, guys. <laughs> well, okay. no, I'm gonna take so, like uh, I'm gonna take like two steps out and be like, ah, oh, I'm just gonna light another one. <laughs> Daddy lights another torch and moves ten feet forward. And Daddy currently can has I, the order I, he needs. Listen? We're good. You can, can do, do a listen. Like check listen. Yep. Go for it. Do you hear the stealth bees? Do I hear anything? You hear footfalls ahead of you in the bush. <laughs> Far away. Ah. Far away? Like a hundred feet or coming towards us or no? Can you can I tell? No, you can't tell. You just hear it. Ah. You're so hard to I think we may have uh, a little bit more company. You're not the boss of me. Alright. Dirk, you're up. 
Steve. Unloose the lips. Go ahead and move them. Steve's moving here. Okay. And Steve's going to do a dance. <laughs> You're telling <laughs> to dance. Okay. Um, Steve does so the dance of his people. Steve does the dance of his people. Yes. Uh, Alright, what are you doing, Dirk? And now I consider, <laughs> with hearing that daddy heard footsteps far away, that we retreat and lick our wounds, so to speak. Right, you guys are beat up a little bit. And try to tackle said forest in daylight. Reactions from the party? We haven't really assessed how close they are or what direction they're coming from, so you might retreat right into them. Sounds are coming well, from Maybe this if we direction. go back up the way. Maybe if we go back from where we came from, we might not. Uh, we might not. So we want to shift to the north and see what happens? We should drag the orcs with us. Do not leave the bodies to be found. As orcs is not seen very well. Throw them in the water. I like that option too. Alright. That well, that's just a suggestion. That means you gotta try and loot before whatever's coming gets here. I tried, but somebody blocked me. Well, hmm, that was correct. Oh, you just tried but, grab your grubby little hand. I'm going to wait for the group to decide what they're doing. I'm going to just draw my bow and wait. End of turn. Seems group on all. All right. Group huddle. All right. Should we just start some shit? Yeah. That's one. Let's break heart this shit. <laughs> JB, are we gonna be backing up smart, or are we gonna attack? Yeah. Um. You know, so long as we don't start keep throwing torches around. Um, you don't like our torch? <laughs> I have a, I have a, I have a question. Um. Am I strong enough to hold the Executioner's Axe? To hold it? Yeah. Yeah. Then swing it. What's, what's your strength? Uh, one moment. Just give me one strong-ass kid. <laughs> it's, yeah, uh, it's true. Yeah. We never oh, adjusted yeah. the kid's scores. Yeah, with plus 15, you're stronger than I am, so... I'm stronger than I am! That he was a child. Last time we proposed, he was a 26-year-old choir boy. I propose... <laughs> that, uh, uh, that the Executioner pick up Steve, I sit on the Executioner's shoulders with the axe, and the Executioner and all of us just start running towards the forest, and I'll swing at anything that we come across. This, this is not a bad idea, but I actually think we can improve on our war machine, because we still have the, uh, the, the wheel tire that the Cobalt's carrying. So if we can get Dirk back into the hands-down position, you can ride it like a, you know, like a horse, and have a lance. Like a chariot, almost. You see? We need a lance. Yeah. We, can, we can make it work with an Executioner's Axe. Yeah, I'll, I can hold the axe in one hand and a torch in the other. Done. Did, did we have as part we of have this duct is... tape in this era? <laughs> Dirk, are you, are you in agreement? Telling rope. Dirk, he's got to be face down, ass up. Dirk, are you in agreement? Uh, this sounds crazy enough that it just might work. There you Dirk. go. Excellent. 
Can we begin fashioning our war chariot? Oh my <laughs> Quick! Build a war chariot! The enemy's coming! It's like Voltron in medieval times. <laughs> That's right! <laughs> and I will form the head. I, I've got the mallet. I'm coming. I summon the power of Trolltron! <laughs> okay. Oh, moly. Well, we so, currently people. in the initiative order, we got enough people, you it can is make Dirk's... War chariots. Oh. Currently, it is Dirk's turn in the initiative order. Dirk must move into position in order to make this work. This is not Excellent. just a... Uh... Situation, uh, where we can just say it happens. So there we go. Dirk is now the the executioner and moving into the prone position. Holding the wheel. Executioner, no, you're up. Well, I'm obviously holding his feet, but I gotta wait, so let's, uh. So the executioner reaches down oh, and no, grabs no, Dirk's no, feet, no. completing the, the wheelbarrow. The executioner is waiting, so he's gonna bump to the end. Okay. Fair enough. Makes it the unknown's turn. The unknown! They're measuring. We gotta assemble the okay. war chariot fast! The unknown is uh, becoming known! Steve's not in the front, damn it. Why isn't Steve in the front? I now know the unknown! <laughs> Steve's the meat shield. Steve. Steve, Steve. Turns out Daddy's meat shield now. Yeah. Oh, they all like. got foul shins. Oh, and there's a whip. God damn it. It's not a problem. That was nice knowing you guys. But out no match for the war cherry. Come on. Out of the dark trees stalk three orcs, wearing the uh, wearing the uh, tabards that uh, you've seen on the other orcs, carrying nasty-looking rusty foul shins. And uh, the the one in the middle is carrying a, a long, uh, multi-tasseled whip with a with metal barbs on the end that he snaps as he comes out of the woods, and a and a heavy dagger in the other hand, and uh, the two orcs see Dirk face down in the dirt with his legs sticking up at the executioner, sort of glance at each other, smile. And begin to advance. They have no idea what they're heading into. The one with the whip drops his dagger to the ground and pulls out a small flask, which he throws onto the ground. Uh, near you guys. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Well, doesn't he have to do a uh, check for that? No, the cuckoo! Not now! Yeah, it could have hit a branch. Could have hit his buddies. Landed right, on, landed right on top of his orc buddies. The, uh... The flask lands and instantly ignites into a bright, bright flame. Apparently, they don't have to roll. Alchemist fire. And as the beach is illuminated by the light, you hear uh, screams down further down the beach, hundreds of yards away. We're indestructible, boys. Don't worry about it. Now, is this like, ah, or is this like, ah? The second one. No, or is it like, no. oh my god, please hide it, please hide it! Don't think it's that one. Yeah, the second one. Uh, like no. Alright, so, uh, that is the unknown's turn. Dark Holder. It's you. He'll go running up and be like, oh look, a torch. 
<laughs> and I draw my mallet. All right, so for you, for you to move that far, that means you were charging, right? So you're not doing a charging mm -hmm. attack, though. You're just running full out. Uh, yeah, I was just running. Okay. And that means hard on. You're up. Who's on the phone, apparently? Must be work. Um, I'm going to rush over. And assume the position to get on the war chariot. <laughs> the war chariot <laughs> is not getting aboard. Stick to the plan, boys. The war chariot will move forward. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, ready. Ready. I'm, I'm assuming. Ready. And, and you better I'm ready. standing you over dirty. Ready. You you better ready for attack because I'm just gonna charge you guys in, eh? Okay, okay so can I, I, I I grab the executioner's axe and and, uh, and hold. <laughs> You guys know the sharp parts on the front, we can make it not work. on the tip. He can do like a little choppy chop, it's like fine. A forest cutting. Cat yeah, attack. I'll be holding on with my legs and uh, cat ass to no the face. That's what you get. You got pussy ass right well, there. If that's the case, it looks like it's Banks' turn then, if I'm not mistaken. If that is the end of the choir oh, boys' yeah, move. I... Is Banks at the end of the start? Spanks is the start. At the start. That was the end of the... No, I waited. It's my oh, turn. Mm, it's charge mm, time. It is the executioner's turn. What about Steve? What about Steve, man? You moved Steve, Steve already went. He's the meat about? shield. You're going in, buddy. Next turn, he's the meat shield. So I don't know if I can move three you tokens. Go, we, so I'll just pick We it. can load Steve. Screw it, we're going. In front. It's go time. Oh, damn it. Dude, you wasted okay. your turn making the, him down. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on, executioner. There is a problem. They have expended their moves. The only thing that will happen here moving. is an attack of opportunity for them. How's that? They're not moving. All he's got to do is hold it. I'm just going to run him over with the, the war chariot. Okay, so you're going to try and run him over with the war chariot and stab him with the axe that, that, no, no, that no. All, all, the choir boy is holding. All the choir boy has to do is hold it out in front, which he already said he's doing. I'm going to run that axe right through this SOB. They've assumed the position. <laughs> It's like it's like a lance at this point. All I gotta do is run. We could put Steve it's in front human of the next weapon. turn. Okay. We could. You we are. Could wait. Put Steve in the front. Hang on. We all have moves. Due to the completely unconventional nature of this attack, uh, we're gonna we're gonna basically give it to you at par because you're doing a charge. You're running full out. You're pushing this. So, no bonuses. Just a 20. I, I can't even get a strength bonus? Come on. No. You're pushing two people. A 12. This is great. If, if I have my bonus, this hits, just so everybody knows. <laughs> hey, well. Um... So where are you here? Let's see. Uh, I can't move the rest give me of your direction. Right I need a vector. I, I started. From okay, so yeah, that I was your vector. Okay, so uh, let's see here. So you started running. You're on a wheel, so you should be able to move pretty damn far if you're charging. So I want you at the end of that vector. Okay. So we whiffed and overshot. Wow, that's impressive. They didn't get any attacks of opportunity because they were just so dumbfounded of what the <laughs> fuck just happened. How could you get an attack of opportunity on that, man? It's like a train went by. You're like, uh, what the... <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, the first orc sidesteps the incoming war train and attacks. Because he gets an attack of opportunity because you're passing right by him. So, uh... That is... Here comes the critical hit. Well, who's he swinging at? Just a moment. There are yeah. three of you. Ooh. 
What just happened? He killed him already. Perfect. He's gone. We annihilated Okay, where did the... No, no. What, what did they do? No. He kicked just off... Hold he on. kicked off my strength bonus, which means the 12 wasn't enough to connect, so we rode right by, and they're getting an attack of opportunity. Uh, how's the command work, guys? I forget again. What do you have to... But do? I didn't even roll. You, you burned your turn. You can't swing on the way by. You just, like, charge lands. <laughs> You're a prop. Slash Guys, how's that work again? Uh, thank Slash you. R space 1D3. Haha. Who's one? That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Day uh, one. I volunteer to be one. Number one is Dirk. Number two is the choir boy. Number three is the executioner, and I will re-roll. Number nice. one is Dirk. Oh, yeah. Dirk sidesteps the uh, sidesteps the the oncoming war train and swings down with his falchion. All right, and he attacks. Oh, TP explodes on I only have two hit points, so... Well, you'll just be capped. Oh, I like it for nine. Yeah. So I'm going to go fly. Right. Sweet. Dude, we lost over the next deal, 30 man. feet... <laughs> over the next 30 feet, Dirk goes from awake and holding onto the wheel to unconscious, bleeding out, and collapsing, and filling his mouth full of dirt all the way to the end of the 60 feet. Again... The choir boy is <laughs> forward into the dirt as well. Tumble check. I'm oh, fine. I sent an email. Okay. Uh, hang on a second here. I need to record something. So hard on got a mouth full of what? Dirt. Dirt and death. And okay. As long as I didn't get a mouthful of loose lips. And uh, Mr. Holler up there just got <laughs> freaking 1d20 by his cat. <laughs> that hurts so bad. All right. So that is the executioner. When we begin back at the beginning of the of the initiative, Spanks, you're up. Executioner, I have a plan. Uh, I'm just going to step a little bit forward here and just wait, because I just want to see what the hell's going to happen. Oh. Dirk, take your hit points off. Oh, you're, you're, you're already done. Good. Seven. <laughs> He's fine. He can still control Steve. <laughs> you just... <laughs> Have Steve co stabilize you. Yeah, Darkholer just way. wants to see him die because he got left to die the last time. <laughs> Alright. So, Spanks, what are you doing? I think uh, that's it. Well, no, oh, I said just... I was waiting till the end of. Yeah, I, I just oh, want to. Oh, you're watch. waiting. This will be fun. Oh. Okay. Uh, Daddy, you're up. Daddy Gasper. Pig farmer. Thanks. What are you doing? Murderer. Get in there. Of kobolds. And then what I'm going doing? to... That's a perfectly valid move. Move. Gotta move. Click and drag. Alright. And then... Go to strike. Whiff. Daddy Garza moves forward and slashes down with the with the claimed falchion that he picked up off the other orc, and the orc facing him blocks the attack and and leans into uh, leans in to snarl at Daddy for over the blades. 
You'll get yours. Yeah, you're up. You're Spanx, get over here. Executioner, you're up. Uh, what about Steve? Oh, wait, Dirk, you have to roll the stabilize. Go. Uh, what do I do? And you that? get Steve. What dice? D100. What's the percentage? I, th I was think we were doing t it's ten percent, so within the top ninety, I think. Yeah. All right. So, that's uh, that's not it. Uh, so executioner, you're up. Dirk, you lose one. Uh, Steve. Oh, sorry, sorry. Steve. Steve, I keep forgetting Steve. Steve. Get in there, Steve. Because I didn't stabilize the exact round. It was another hit point. Okay. What's Steve doing? Be over to uh, Steve's going to attack Spanx for being an ass. Ooh. <laughs> really? Don't stabilize him. Oh no. my god, and he connects! <laughs> oh my god, okay. Um, yeah, roll for damage. <laughs> uh, let's see, what damage does Steve do? Steve does 1d6 minus 1. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Spanks turns yes. right and away. looks at Steve at the spear that's just glanced off of his off of his clothing. And looks says, back at Steve and says, "Did did you just try to hit me? You said once, see what happened." <laughs> you get pumped. Well, right about now, I want to see what the inside of a cobalt looks like. So, uh, can I use up the rest of my turn now? Looks like golden poo. <laughs> yes, you can. You can use your your turn now, Spanx. Go ahead. Oh. He's gonna kill Steve. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a slap fight going on over there. <laughs> Spanx swings at Steve. Over the top of Steve, because he's small. And Steve laughs. Is Steve still dancing? Is it the dance of his people that has protected him? <laughs> he probably is. He probably fucking is. <laughs> Alright. So that's Dirk's turn. Executioner, you are finally up. Alright, remind me. I think we talked about this last week. I can or can't equip a bow and shoot right now. Given I have nothing in my uh, hands, by the way. You can. Standard action. You can't attack. Stabilize. 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 I can't Unless attack. you have quick draw. Stabilize. I don't believe I if can't you... have quick draw. Let me check. I don't think I get that yet, do I? Stabilize. 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 But that's stabilize. a full action, too, isn't it? Uh, it? It basically to pull out your bow, string it, and, you know... Load it, ready to go, is basically a standard action. But you could stop the bleeding. Six seconds. You could stop the bleeding. How many, how many you and got And then left? you only have a move action. How many you got left, there? Two hit points. Two. Mm. And you might fail your heal check. Probably will fail his heal check. Really? What, what, what's my odds? You're definitely going to get your bow ready. You may it's not save roll. his life. It's a what do you make what? It's a wisdom check. I think I'm pretty smart. Hang on. I said wisdom, not intelligence. Sorry. I'm a plus two. I don't know. Wisdom. You push two idiots on a wheel into a combat situation. You, see, I don't know problem. about thinking you're pretty smart. Some people are so <laughs> genius, people think they're stupid. Ask Einstein. <laughs> Alright, so we're saying I could get the bow and try to stabilize, or I can't. There's a chance that you won't be able to stabilize him. If I take a because you, of course, have to roll for it. Or, no matter what, I have you a don't chance that You don't roll for a stabilize. Yeah, no, he just does heals it. a standard action also. You can't have two standard actions. You can either pull out your bow and load it, or you can stabilize. And he's only got two hit points, so I have to stabilize him. But I can move and then stabilize him, right? 
Yes. You can move All and right. stabilize him, yeah. Then I'm going to move to the choir boy side of him, and then stabilize him. And then I don't think I can... Okay. Put the better part of Valor going on there. Dirk, uh, you are no, stabilized. No, he's got my axe, dude. So my only chance of getting a it. weapon is getting it back from the choir boy. Alright, the orc with, with the nasty looking whip turns around. Hey, did he proceed successful in stabilizing? Yes. The DC determined he doesn't need to roll for it. Yes, he does. I thought you said it was a standard action that he gets to do it. No, and it's considered a standard action. Like, you have full round actions, standard actions, move actions. Alright. So, you want so to in that it. case, then, this guy hasn't moved. Roll it. Yep. With your, uh, what's the heal bonus for him? Or what's the bonus it's, to that skill? It's a skill based on wisdom. 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 DC okay. of 15 to stabilize. Means you've got to roll nice. over 15. You get your wisdom check. Ooh. Dirk is it's not bad. stabilized. All right, so now it's the unknown turn. Now the orc with the whip moves into position here, and because he's got this crazy long whip, he can ex he can strike over ten feet, and he attempts to do so. Get your bondage gear ready. There are three heads on the, end of the, on the end of it. Yeah, did I roll that? 2d20? You did. <laughs> that what is not right. right. Oh. Sorry, that was a mistake. <laughs> Here we go again. Uh, I'll, take oh, the even roll. Roll. I'll take the first roll. <laughs> All right. So, the whip reaches over top of, of, of Dirk's prone body and smashes... Er, Smashes, whips, uh, whips the executioner in the face through the mask. You take four points of damage to your beautiful, beautiful face. To my beautiful, beautiful hood. It slashes, gashes in the hood, and gashes into your skin. And the executioner screams, "My face! My hood!" That's what she said? Yes. Alright. So, the executioner. Uh, you're not... No, nothing. Um, okay. This one. The, uh... This guy. <laughs> uh, who's got an ugly green maw and two thumbs? This guy! Um, he's going to attack Daddy. Of course he is. Perfect. <laughs> What's with these uh, dungeon master hacks? Are you guys running some sort of shit that we need to be aware of? Daddy takes six points of damage as the as the falchion cuts through his defense and slashes him across the chest. Ow! All right. The second orc turns to meet Darkholer's charge and steps forward right into range. He brings up his falchion and. Stabs it forward, hoping to impale Darkholer under his own in, uh, under, under his own momentum. Here comes a twenty-one. Watch this. Darkholer deftly sidesteps it and lands uh, and lands just to the side, ready to strike. All right, uh, lost the initiative. Where are we? Where's my list? There it is. Darkholer. So. Dark Holer, it's your counter. Can we just nickname him The Hole? Go in the hole. Go in your hole. I'm going to rage and then hit him with my mallet. Okay. Rage really building? Not bad. Not bad. Boom! 
So he's getting angry. He smashes the orc's face with the with the mallet. The orc spits out some teeth. The mallet. It's like a little fucking beater club. The orc spits out some teeth, and you see his jaw literally hang loose in his mouth. Turns back to you with an angry, angry, angry look in his eyes. Seems like he has some loose lips now. Alright, so, that was Darkholder's turn. Who's left? Hard on. Hard on it is. I move over to the executioner and jump on his shoulders, ready, readying his axe. You're not gonna Actually, give me my axe. Can I hand, me can I hand his axe back to him? Yes, you can. Okay. Although so, it's not I, have my, I have my I have my fist ready. Don't Actually, it's me. a free action to drop the axe, so you can run by, attack no, the dude, drop and drop the axe on the way. Don't attack of opportunity attack if of opportunity. Uh, he Stop. reaches to pick, reaches reaches to pick it up. Okay, how about this? How about this? Can I run, jump, and press off on the executioner's shoulders, dropping the axe, and do a flying punch at the orc? How about that? Oh, well, Superman punch off the executioner. That's right. That's right. I give that a four difficulty rating of awesome. Come on. I will allow it. Yes. <laughs> and uh, but it is going to be at a negative four to hit penalty. I don't care. I'm going to roll shit it. anyway. <laughs> Do it anyway. It's either a neg. Hang on, hang on. Before you roll, I'm going to give you two options. Either you may choose to do a dexterity check against a DC that I will determine in a moment, or you may take the negative four to hit penalty. Which would you prefer? Check your dex. Dex check. You still have to roll the hit, even if you succeed in the in the dex check, but yeah, you but do not get the penalty. Check. Get rid of the negative four. That'll be epic. Two rolls of awesome. Come on. All right, your DC for this will be. So I roll a d20 against that. Is that what you're trying to say? Yep. With your dex bonus. Just get her. Get her done. Hit it. And while you're at it, no. make a duck fit. Yeah, there you go. Oh. All right. So, hard on dive. Uh, Jumps into the air to leap onto the uh, to try and vault off of the executioner's shoulders. He loses his his footing as he touches down on the shoulders, and ends up straddling the executioner's head, crushing certain parts of his anatomy. That's okay. You're still on my shoulders. Wouldn't that be more of a critical fail? Nah, cause you're okay. You didn't take damage, and you're still on my shoulders. We're in good shape. They're forming a war tower short, shortly, nor, so nor you're a fireball. <laughs> I'm sure your junk scene worked. Nor did he say you failed to give me the axe, so I still have the axe. We're in great shape. Great. Alright, we're, we're yes. good. The axe transfer is successful. The attack is not. Beauty. It's getting very annoying that every single one of my rolls has been shit. Well, you are rolling against All some right. pretty high numbers here. No, this is, this, is the first, like, this is the first time in like 10 rolls that I've actually done something difficult. Mathematically, you had a three, three out of four chance of not making that roll. Stop making everything so difficult. Your rolls won't be so difficult. But then it All right, this is the first time. Spanx. We're back around to you. We're around the horn to Spanx. Oh, the side of Spanx versus yeah. Steve. Just the slap Steve. fest over there. Steve, you gonna try to take another swing at me, or are you gonna go and help Dark Wolf? Me think me no hit if you attack enemy. That guy. That guy. <laughs> hit master. <laughs> Why does he sound like a Filipino child? I was going to say he's getting a little bit of a uh, he, he has hippopotamus. No way. He sounds like K9. Oh, and I whiff off a of Steve. You tried Wait, to hit him did again? you just attack Steve? What are you doing? I don't know. 
Steve said he was going to attack me, so no, I attacked Steve. No, he said he going to attack the enemy. Language barrier. Oh, it doesn't matter. The guy who hit his master. master. He was going to attack me. No, he's going to attack the guy with his master. Oh, he missed Steve. <laughs> well, thankfully Steve lives. This is what language barrier. Steve do. ducks. Looks annoyed. All right. Daddy, you're up. I'm actually... Spanx, get over right. here. Rawr! And I attack the orc. Yay. Come on, hit. Ooh. Daddy, we need you to just... Nobody else is trying to... Uh... And you have, like, epic weapon. Damage. Nobody else trying to stabilize Dirk here. <laughs> just if I... They're all gonna give attack of opportunity if they move, man. We gotta kill these sons of bitches. All right. Oh, so Dirk... Or, sorry. Daddy... Locked it, lock blades with the orc in the last little in, in the last round. Shoves the orc back, steps back on his rear foot, puts all his weight behind the blade, draws it, se draws it to the center of his body, and drives it forward in one swift motion straight through the orc's chest. What are you oh. using? That's two d four. Uh, it's a falchion. The orc lifts off the ground, under uh, onto uh, Daddy's arm, and then lets out a, a final breath. Of <gasps> And he drops him to the ground, dead. Who's your daddy? Fool. And I spit on him. <laughs> your no, no, dad. No Two more to go, John. Daddy spits on him in a very Scottish manner. Oh, yeah, sparingly. Nice move. Sparingly spits on him. No, you, you know, using as little spit as possible. But I need you to kill him. <laughs> um, <laughs> so we'll just live long enough to do that. Can, can I move? No, that was your okay. move. I thought uh, you could do a move after well, an attack. You, no, you can move and attack, attack, you can't attack and move. Right. Oh, sorry. It was a hundred. <laughs> and I roll an not, eleven. That's not better. That's that's way worse. Actually, wait a minute. Isn't wasn't Chris's scaling system the lower the roll the better? Yeah, let's go with that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that's what yeah, it was. Still not enough. Still, still not enough. Still not one to ten then. Oh, never mind. Alright. Steve, now. Steve can only charge 60, and that's no attack, right? Yeah. That's right. Steve. Oh, where can I? Can Steve. Steve has a spear that's five feet long would the charge to there not be able to hit the elf attacking the executioner and the choir boy there are no obstructions the ground is relatively flat you're in a perfect position to do a charge go for it steve charges to save try and save master come on steve just, i can just come see on. him he's just running right. <laughs> so he gains a pl he gains a plus two to the attack for charging, right? And a negative two yeah. to defense on the next round. Yes. Or on their attack, whichever comes first. All right, Dirk, roll it. Uh, I just did. You're getting rolled like money? Nah, nah, you, nah, you screwed that up. He gets a plus one. He has a plus one to his attack roll with that spear. So you should have plus three. Uh, okay, I'll still roll poop. Plus three. <laughs> Boom! Whoa! 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 Critical! Steve! <laughs> he really likes math. Steve charges across the sand between Daddy and the, and the other orc warrior. Everyone kind of goes, huh? And Steve runs by. <laughs> Master! And drives the spear up under the base of the uh, of the whipmaster's neck, <laughs> and, deals and the spear point zero damage. <laughs> and the spear point deals what? That's one x two though, right? One <laughs> four. So two damage, two because it's critical. That's not bad. That's not bad for Steve. Two points. Yeah. So Steve the spear point damage. being uh, drives through the armor that the uh, that the uh, whipmaster's carrying but only drives, you know, an inch of the point into the base of his neck. He screams in anger. Only an inch into his neck. 
the subvertebrae is it's all length. It's a very muscly right. look. So, Dirk takes one point of damage, obviously. Well, I applied that when I failed okay. my check. So you're in real trouble. Uh, the Executioner, you're up. Uh, we're gonna attack. You currently have a child monk warrior yeah, we're gonna on Blaster your this shoulders. Thing. It's go time. The two men at once attack. We are the Bionic Commando. Who runs Barter Town? I do. <laughs> okay. Here's how this is going to work. Two the Executioner, in, being on the bottom and carrying another person on your shoulders, you are slowed, so your attack is going to be at a negative two. Uh, hard on, your attack will be at negative four. You're unstable on top of the Executioner's shoulders. You've got to hit a difficult target. However, if you do connect, you'll get a plus two to damage because you're going to connect with a head or shoulders. Um, executioner, if you do connect, you're going to get a negative two to damage because you don't have a whole lot of swinging ability with this nitwit on your shoulders. Everybody got that? It's a child. 26-year-old child. This guy in his negatives tonight, man. Choir boy. I tell you. Should we, should we see if the fists land first, Rhett? Right? Why not? Wow, what a fucking surprise. Uh, yeah. This is my surprise face. <laughs> Jesus. This is my Blow surprise face. Blow on the dice. Blow on them. Blow. The ex executioner at negative two. Blow the dice. You, you get some. your regular bonus, then negative two. Wait, wait, wait. You said I get a plus two because Still I'm hitting at the head of shoulder? Damage. You got a negative four. You didn't even roll the right thing. I didn't roll the right thing either. Well, re-roll it then. You've got... Okay, so... Uh, Blood's got the right right deal. He's got it sorted, so... Uh, his swing missed. So I should have intentionally uh, fucked so... it up, is what you're saying. <laughs> We're going to allow yeah. one more re-roll for you, because you're trying to do something creative. So 1d20 minus 2, right? Yeah. See? It's still it's fucking... Matter. This is fucking rigged. You All right. Sucks. So, the executioner stands up. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa hold on. And, there, was, uh, there was a factor that was missed here. Is there not a flanking bonus? Oh, there is. He's yes, right. there is. Oh yes, <laughs> we get one more try. I get another <laughs> shot. Let's check the script. I get another shot. <laughs> he gets another shot. Steve should. Steve should have gotten that. He should have, Steve but we've critted. already processed Steve. <laughs> and he critted. For one, for two damage. Alright. So what's the flank bonus? Plus, Plus two. two. So, hard on. I'll give you one, one more shot. And do not screw it up. The it's plus two it's brings it's you to zero bonus. 1d20. Roll it. Hey, you missed mine. I already rolled. That's fine. I want to see his. <laughs> oh, fuck. No fucking problem. No fucking problem. All right. So I want everyone to get this picture clear in their minds. This two-person monster stands up out of the sand, steps over the body of their friend, and flails like like a chicken with its head cut off like, so at stopped, the enemy. We stopped and debated whether or not we could hit him for a while first, and then we flailed like crazy. <laughs> and a bit somehow, of shadow boxing. the executioner's axe connects with the orc. Roll for damage, please. And you're giving me a damage minus, right? A negative two. But that's after your strength bonus and stuff, of course. We'll take it. All right. The executioner's axe seems to move in slow motion, but it connects with the side of the orc's face, driving through, and his jaw drops off during the swing. Oh, nice. 
The orc, the orc sort of teeters for a second. His eyes roll back and his head falls back, but his body remains erect for a moment or two. Then the body follows. It is now the orc warrior's turn. The remaining orc, hearing uh, hearing the, the action going on behind him, um, attempts a uh, to bash Dark Holer and push him back out of the way. So, this is going to be a grapple strength check. So, uh, Dark Holer, you are going to be rolling against the orc. And what's the bonus on 17, guys? Huh? 17? Plus 3, plus I think. Plus 3, isn't it? Yeah, plus 3. Thank you. Oh, Bromley, I'm going to kill Against you. Against the raged out barbarian. I call hacks. The orc pushes through Dark Holer and shoves him aside. And proceeds to move off in this direction. Don't I get an attack of opportunity for him leaving? He's just bashed you out of the way. Really? Well, he made an attack, now he's leaving, so, you know. No, he bashed you out of the way. He took an offensive action so, against so you to push you out of the way. Yes. Why is he going that way? No, it does not provoke. Was up now? So he should be able to move. Com Hang on. Uh, Snook, he should be able to guy. move a great distance after this, right? Uh, Bull Rush, he's got one move action. So, so he can his move his full. Move. His standard move. So he can move up to 60 feet. So here he's okay. clearly retreating. Whoa, no. He's got a movement speed of 60? No, 30. I mean 30. Yeah, so he can move 30 feet. But he's, he's like, retreating, right? Like, he's just running like fuck? Oh, he's hauling. So, we're technically out of combat if we don't chase and we can stabilize loose lips. I got it, guys. Don't worry. I got this. So you're going to stay in combat, is what you're saying. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Dirk. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will be in combat. You guys won't be. Technically. They still you adhere to the round take. bases whenever a party member is in combat. Well, actually, it's my turn before the round end, so... True. Uh, I can so kill Dark him, and then it's, it's Hang on a second, hang on a second. So the Unknown is gone, Dark Holder, you're up next. So what are you doing? You currently have yeah. your hammer. If he dies, we're out I'm of combat anyway, so it's totally up to you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a one move action and hit him. Because my movement is 40. And he's facing away from me. Plus two. Plus two. Roll big, so... man. Roll big. Oh, it was a 19! Come on! <laughs> well, uh, on the bright side, you successfully hit him. <laughs> what? Really? Really? Why does that guy have a lower AC than the other guy? He doesn't. I'm the confused. Okay, go. None of you have rolled in and around the 13 mark. You've all been rolling either far under or far over. So you're saying we're rolling like shit? Yep. Um, we're rolling yeah, down like a toilet seat. We're rolling all over all right. the board. Dark Holer smashes, smashes his hammer into the back of the orc's head. And he's fine. And the orc falls down into the dirt. There we go. And is out. Verdict. 
first order of business. Stabilize loose lips. Take 20. Okay, Does hold on one second. <laughs> hold on one combat second. round is about six seconds. So, oh, shit. Uh, Dark Holder, it's Hardon's turn. We're still in combat. What? Fucking stabilize him, dude. I have to be careful because my rolls are shit. <laughs> you could kill him. <laughs> you try to stabilize him. You probably him can't. Die. Man, you can't, probably can't hurt the situation here. Uh. All right, I'm going to move over here, and I'm going to push Steve into the darkness so he can see what's going on. You're not gonna stabilize the dude that's about to die. He's gonna get. He's gonna. He's gonna get Steve to stabilize him. <laughs> No, he's taking hang Steve on away. Hang on. Log Actually, numbers, I forgot guys. His... Hang on a sec. I have forgotten to do something, and I apologize. Yeah, we should already see all this. Steve, yeah, right should... Arguably, though, if Steve's in combat, I don't think he's calling out what he sees. Well, now he's not, so now it's fine. Alright, since you can see that, then I'm going to stabilize uh, Loose Nuts. D20 plus whiz. 1D20 plus whiz. I have no bonus to whiz. Oh. That's alright. I made it. The Keep first good roll stabilizes the best. <laughs> the only good roll. Hard on all day. Now. You just, I'll just give you a bio. Yeah. Quickly search him because you can take all the shit and there's nothing you can do. <laughs> I'm gonna pick up the dripping ball. Oh no! He's the keeper <laughs> of the dripping balls. Okay. Okay. Hard on. Hard on. Some balls have to go with it. Now, hard on. <laughs> hard on has stabilized on? Dirk. It doesn't. The price of Dirk's life: dripping balls. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Alright, so Dirk is stabilized, everybody else is kind of spread out, um, what are we doing here, guys? So you just remind me, the dripping balls is just a stick with a piece of bone lashed to it, right? No, Two pieces. it's multiple bones. Oh, <laughs> many bones. It's a uh, lot of bones. So we're still in combat rounds, or we're comfortable combat is over? There's nothing else in range. The fire is still lit. The torch is still lit. We're in combat, is what he's saying, without saying it. So we're gonna have to carry your ass out of here. So do we take them north? Spanks. Seven minutes. You're top of the list. Loot those corpses there, Spanks. Yeah, let's go loot. Okay. The orcs... Uh, the orcs, with the exception of the Whipmaster, are uh, wearing studded leather armor. The Whipmaster is only wearing uh, a leather armor with a... Uh, he's wearing a couple of bucklers. Or, not bucklers, sorry. He's wearing um, bracers. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, they're, uh, they're steel bracers with brass chevrons on them. Two of them. There. Those are neat. I will take a pair of uh, some studded leather and my new falchion. Okay, you took a falchion off the first orc that you fought. There's a second falchion laying on the ground from the orc that you've just killed. Uh, and of course, he's wearing studded leather I'll armor. That. There are, between I'll all the orcs, 49, the 49 more of the uh, marked silver coins that you picked up before. Between all of the orcs. Why, why can't you go in multiples of six? I don't see a problem with going in multiples of six. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, all of the orcs are wearing leather boots. All of the orcs are wearing uh, breeches and, and, and crap. Uh, but no shirts or anything like that. They all have varieties of belts and things like that that hold under the armor and around them. Um, 
and uh, they're all carrying some basic food stuffs and whatnot on them. Um, food that they're carrying is like like uh, salted salted uh, meat of some kind that's been cured, and uh, it, it is of note that they are all uh, covered in uh, white salt. Uh, their armor is well salted. Their their equipment is rusty. Um, Came off a boat, man. Moving fast. Eh? Steve goes to the oh. choir boy and says, "Give master back bone dripping balls or kill." And uh, choir boy replies with. Uh, in exchange for the whip from the whipping master, which I showed up, Harry balls. How how are you awake? Did I miss something? Uh, no, Steve. Steve, saying that. Steve Henchman. Oh. Henchman Steve. They have a very deep connection and bond. Steve survived a critical hit from the dripping balls for no damage. He has a special bond with dripping balls. He's Steve immune to is balls. your Hodor. 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 Okay. So I pass Steve the dripping balls and I take the hairy balls. We exchange Okay, hold on a sec. What just happened? The whip is now in possession of the monk that doesn't need it. Okay. The whip is a 1d4 plus 3 weapon. Okay. That's pretty fucking epic. The uh, the whip has three heads on the end of it, and they are noticeably shaped like the griffin on the... Uh, sorry. They're noticeably shaped like uh, the talon on the coin that you guys have been carrying. The whip is reasonably good leather, and uh, as I said, the, the whip master was only wearing leather armor, and these the bracers with uh, with two bronze chevrons on them. So I'll take the bracers, a pair of leather boots, some of the meat rations, pick up Dirk, and start heading north. Okay. The bracers are a plus one armor item. The uh, leather is regular leather. And uh... uh that's it. Have I left anyone out of this equation so far? Well, uh, I'd like to grab a falchion and the studded armor off of the guy that I'm currently hovering. Which you may do. Go ahead. So you, you now have studded leather armor and a falchion. The falchion is 2d4. So somebody didn't get a falchion out of the three guys that didn't have a falchion already. Or did Dad already have a falchion? Yeah, he already had one. Dark Polar, there's a falchion Mathis, on the ground in Mathis front of you. Here. Leather armor, are you taking studded leather as well? Derek, I can't move yep. you. You're right with me. Anything else? Uh, not really. Uh, like boots. They're, these guys are all Stay wearing well. like uniforms. So. Oh, and they all... Uh, sorry, guys. They all have uh, uh, small shields. Except for the Whipmaster, of course. Uh, what was the coin divide, I guess? The coin... Uh... Eight per... Hey, I got eight silver. Yay. Huzzah. And someone gets the extra one. I'll pocket it for the church. The school. And round ends, so we conclude today. No. The whip is no. happy. What? No, no, I'll allow it. I'll allow his attack. He's so confident <laughs> the roll will be I'm gonna let him attack me, it's okay. That's oh, where you have right. to be. So the barbarian actually steps back one square to ensure that this attack can commence. <laughs> yes! He's like, he's like shaking his butt. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. I'm going for a okay. knockout here. Fate is taking <laughs> his hands off the wheel and just letting mm. 
let the car go where it will. Let anything happen, eh? <laughs> that's, that's perfect. <laughs> that is as it should be. So there he goes, neener, 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 and runs away. <laughs> <laughs>